What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, Carmen Boo, Big Boogie, Angry Woman claims he gave her, what? A STD recently? The hell going on? Jesus. Big Boogie responds to his alleged ex that recently did an interview with Tasha K. And during the interview, the ex claimed that her and Big Boogie was dating and sleeping around up until he stepped out with Carmen publicly. Now the ex is claiming that he just hops from one girl to another for publicity and that he's using Carmen now. She's also claiming that during their two year relationship, she caught an STD where she stayed by his side. She also got an abortion. She still stayed by his side and she's been his main girl in supporting him. And now that he's with Carmen, he done threw her away. He blocked her. He didn't want nothing to do with her and she's upset. Set. and this is why she's exposing him now but big boogie is denying all of this he said for one this girl's not an ex for two on oh, my daddy she's capping for three this girl haven't seen me since 2021 2022 for four why would you do an interview and lie on a person that don't pay you no mind in life texting my phone off of fake numbers begging to be my woman don't nobody want you you the same Damn. female that try to use other females to come around to get in my show you're sick that's Damn. why i changed my number i don't want no dealings with no sick-minded people because how weird are you how you an ex and you haven't met nobody in my family or nobody goofball. I hope she know my sisters fight like men trying to get clout off my name, sicko. The Dang. ex responded, she said, when lying goes wrong. Remember he said I ain't been around nobody since 2021, 2022. Like, boy, I was fucking with you before these people even knew who you were. Boogie said I never been around his sisters, lol, but his sister was fucking with me, the lies he tell. I ain't been around your family, this your mama house though. Now she got the footage at the mama house. But have not got all the footage. Be put up in your suites at your shows. You say you haven't been around me since 2020. 21, 2022, but this was last year's stink, LOL. Was just at your house stink. You know I'm gonna keep proof in the cut. In my opinion, if you allow a dude to play in your face, that's exactly what they're gonna do. Don't be mad at the next chick for setting boundaries. You want Y'all better learn to keep receipts. Cause niggas be lying. <laughs> to be the main chick to a whole bunch of chicks. That was your standard. He's not with that anymore. You coming with all these past stories since we passed that. You had your time. Your time is up. Who gives a fuck? Carmen and I agree on that part. She did prove that the nigga was lying. Obviously don't care about the girl or her interview because she celebrated her birthday with her boo big boogie. Carmen and don't be giving a damn about none of that. And he gift her Audi, purple rap Audi to be exact, to match his purple Porsche truck. Lane and King revealed that they're done with the LK family channel and that they're focusing more on their own individual visual channels which a lot of people on tiktok were saying maybe this is the beginning to the end because this is exactly what happened when neek and king broke up neek started posting on her own channel then king started posting on his own channel where he dropped a documentary and then later on we found out that, that was they after they broke up break up that could be one of the things happening behind the scenes allegedly or they possibly could be focusing on their own individual careers i think me personally i feel like king is over the social media i think he lost his passion when it comes to social media it's not fun for him he found something that he likes off of social media that he's working towards and yeah. Lena is still passionate about social media she still wants to keep on with her career and keep going even though he's not happy but here's what Lena had to say we can't only be just together we can't only there go Lena talking again <laughs> be codependent on each other we have to be individuals and have our own identity and have our own hobbies and go out by ourselves and connect what they trying to do is find independence in their relationship from what it sounds like to me and um, if you're in a relationship that you work through, you know what the hell they talking about. With our friends again, you know, I feel like it's a very normal thing that, you know, for the, for the time that we've been together, that it's just been us because we've created this life together. And honestly, I wouldn't oh. want it any other way. What the fuck happened? Oh girl, I'm sick of it. AirPods ain't even out the damn case. But while I was in time, understand. Or did the volume cut off? We got really, really. No, it did not. On 32. We got really, really pretty fast the other way. While I was with our friends. What the hell is the problem? Again, you know, I feel like it's a very.
very normal thing that you know for the for the time that we've been together that it's just been us because we've created this life together and honestly i wouldn't want it any other way well i was in time understand i feel like when i first got into a relationship everything obviously is on god's timing right everything happens for a reason Bonjour. we did go pretty fast and an average couple and not to say that we didn't love each other or like it's not what we wanted it just happened really fast and <laughs> we got really really attached to each other cj so cool brother jinx who's used sound like they're relearning each other again uh it's a possibility that they could be like all right let's figure this out or they will end it but quiet decided to speak out on the whole situation because a lot of people were coming to his tiktok asking him his opinion about the whole situation between cj so cool royalty and cj on 32. here's what he had to say i don't actually know the full extent of what's going on between my brother and cj on 32 so i don't know but i will say it's weird that's all I can really say. Like, this shit is weird. It's like, these motherfuckers used to be best friends this type, and now they're beefing. And this ain't this ain't even the first time that they beefed. So it's like, why don't they just leave each other alone? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't speak on me. I don't speak on you. Uh, we, don't, we don't see each other, and we just leave it there. Like, I don't understand how people can can get into get into beefs and battles with the same people over and over and over like what it wasn't settled the first time y'all didn't y'all didn't figure out the first time that y'all just not cool like so yeah i don't i don't really have any i don't feel any type of way about it you know what i mean it's just bumping heads and i just feel like they should just leave each other alone I mean, they can't be cool without bumping heads they just need to leave each other alone stay on their side of the fish you know what i mean but now my previous video right. I talked about jessica and reed and a lot of people were confused as to whether they got married or engaged also a lot of people were questioning is she pregnant because reed post and delete this picture on his snapchat which had a lot of people thinking that it was a possibility that she could be pregnant and then when you look at the pictures it did look like he was telling us something but jessica does claim Clear all of that up. So this is the fit. And I have my accessory right here. Oh, okay. Okay. I have my accessory right here. <laughs> you got a different accessory too. Oh wait, that's the wrong arm. One now. One now. Y'all thought she got that alone? She's trying not to show it, ain't it? Okay, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Okay. This is his accessory. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. No, guys, we are not planning on having kids. Okay, we're still young. Thank God. And people think because they see my pictures today, they see a little freaking thing, a pudge, because my dress was so tight. But I am very much bloated because I'm on my period and that happens. So, no, we're not planning on having kids anytime soon. Do we want kids? Yes, maybe in, like, years from now, but not right now. But, yes, I am very much bloated because I'm on my period. All right. So, we had our engagement in the morning, and then two hours after that, we had our ceremony. But no one recorded because, you know, that was a special moment. But we're having our big wedding next year so we just wanted to hurry get, hurry up and get married because why wait why be a fiance for years you know why hurry up honestly i feel really good like you know to be honest i don't give a fuck <laughs> you know <what> I'm saying? <laughs> i ain't even gonna cap you down uh glad we had eight minutes y'all let let these children do what it is that they gonna do y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah